performs better than uh, any other GPU out there. Not only does it perform, it does so efficiently, it does so efficiently in things like idle power, display features, video features. We have a lot of new power pool, uh, pool power features in here, such as AMD Power 2 technology, which lets the GPU manage its own power, is aware of how much power it's using at any moment, and is intelligent enough to change its clocks to take advantage of any extra power it has. Uh, for example, if you're running the power that's not making the GPU use all the power available to it, it's able to use and pump up its clocks and take advantage of that power to deliver higher performance in those applications. But efficiency is not just delivering performance in gaming applications under, under load, it's making sure that you don't waste power when you're at your Windows desktop, or you don't need all that performance. So we have another technology called AMD Zero Core Power, which allows the GPU to completely shut off its core when you don't actively need it to be driving a, a display or a picture on your screen. This technology allows the, uh, the situation such as when Windows turns off your screen after 15 minutes, uh, to, to completely shut off that GPU, put it in a deep sleep state, really take only about three watts, it will shut off its fan, it won't pump heat into your room, it won't pull much electricity from the wall. And it's really kind of the, the ultimate idle technology when it comes to what a graphics card can do when you don't need it to actively be driving a signal. The other facet of that is that in Crossfire, when you have two, three, or four cards in your system, what we're able to do is take that second, third, and fourth card, and when you're at your Windows desktop, completely shut them off. Put them into a sleep state that really only takes two or three watts, turn off the fans, so that they're only active when you're going into a game. When you go back to your Windows desktop, you just check your mail, you don't have extra fans, you don't have extra heat being pumped into your room, and you're not wasting all that extra power. So we deliver the performance when you need it, and we don't waste power when you don't need to. In addition to that, we have a lot of other cool features, such as our video and display. Uh, each of these GPUs will support up to six displays. We can do that through a variety of manners. Uh, one of them is a new standard that we support called DisplayPort 1.2. It's the ability for a single DisplayPort I put on a card to drive uh, multiple displays through hubs that you'll find in the market at some point in 2012. Uh, with our FNU technology, you can play games across multiple screens. We see three screens and five screens as being the real sweet spot for what gamers can do today. Uh, play nice big panoramic images. Uh, and with our AMD HD 3D technology, we can put those three screens or five screens in a stereoscopic 3D mode. That lets you not only get the, the width and the panorama that Affinity gives you in the gaming experience, but also the depth that you can get from stereo 3D. So it's a really cool, really immersive gaming experience, and uh, we see the real boutique high-end gamers out there asking for these kinds of features. Uh, one thing that you'll be seeing on this, uh, this video conference is uh, this is something that we're seeing a lot more people do these days. You have video conferences, you'll have to compress the video from a camera source, be it a webcam like this or a screen capture, and then send it over the web or encode it and put it in a file format. So one of the other technologies that we have in our HD 7000 series products is something called the Video Codec Engine. This is a little hardware block that we have on each one of our GPUs that allows real-time video uh, compression to Blu-ray quality H.264 formats, uh, roughly 60 frames So, in a demo like this, if we were running on systems that were equipped with our video codec engine on AMD Radeon HD 7000 series product, we'd be able to uh, not tax the CPU, not have the, uh, the other parts of the system deal with encoding the video, and uh, just with that dedicated hardware, compress that video, have it streamed right across the web or to a file format, very efficiently, very low power, uh, and it's still delivering very high image quality. So there's a lot of new features in the AMD Radeon HD 7000 series. Uh, it is the highest performance GPU in the world, uh, but it's also some of the most efficient with the lowest idle power compared to any other high-end GPU, as well as delivering uh, a lot of really cool uh, industry-leading features, such as the support for safe displays through AMD Ethernet technology uh, and AMD 